and it's all over. The Terriers are the national champions over the 33 years of this arena. Jack Parker, 700 career wins. This is a game we remember win or lose for the rest of our lives. I'll bet I know I will. It's hard to think of this building without thinking of Jack in kind of the same frame of mind. More than there just being one memory, I think that there's a whole collection of memories. Tony Amante and Keith Kachuk, all these guys who played in the NHL got dressed in the same place you did. This place just has tradition and it has a sort of life to it. It's so electric when you get in here, and especially the students. I mean, the students really take pride in, in this building. Section 8 is the, the crazy section. The noise. It made a crowd of 4,400 sound like 8,800. You uh, never take for granted what you, what you have here. Thanks for the memories and thanks for all the great players that played here. He slowed things down enough, but here comes a chance for Minnesota as Talix had carried in. Chucko worked around by Geyer trying to get it back to the point. Vanelli and Peltier man the points. Here's Peltier, moves towards the middle, moves to Vanelli. Alex in, had an opportunity. There's a shot to score. Power play goal for Minnesota. They're on the board first. Goal's going to be put in by number seven, Gino Geyer, but it was actually a whiff off the stick of Talixson and his teammates give him a little, little nod as they were laughing at him because he misses. Watch it. The pass is going to come right point from Vanelli to Talix and he whiffs, but it's actually going to be fortuitous because it's going to get over to Chucko who then has it go off the heel of his stick. Almost a comedy of errors. It ends up in a one nothing league. It's Geyer's there to pick up the rebound or wide open net opportunity and he shoots down in front of your goaltender. You really got to make sure to get the puck. Minnesota back very quickly. Curry save, rebound save. And sitting in front and cleared out of there by his teammate. Reaching in there was MacArthur comes back. MacArthur penalty coming up against Minnesota. So that's going to even things up very quickly. With Sean Sullivan who reached back the defenseman, MacArthur quickly came back the other way. And there's a penalty on the Gophers. BU smelled an opportunity, and this their opportunity is going to create a penalty against Minnesota. But earlier, it was Boston University almost going down 2 0. Keeping the puck in, Minnesota crashes the net hard. There's Patoni trying to put in his 20th, but then the other. MacArthur waits. Time for a final rush here for the Terriers, trailing 1 0 with less than five minutes to play. In the first period, La Liberty onside, shot wide, rebound off the board, carried in back behind the. Yep. Here tonight, talking to some of the people who may be you hockey what it is. Started with talking with Jack Parker before the puck drop here tonight in the final game of Walter Brown Arena. Minnesota back in the power play. They scored their goal on the power play, and now they've scored again. Danny Ehrman makes it 2 0. Minnesota with four seconds to go in the period. Now, this is a goal that, you know really hurts right now if you're BU and if you're Minnesota you absolutely love because this is their power play to a T again movement of the puck lateral movement and then they move it down low Danny Irwin gets his 13th goal of the season John Curry the goaltender can't get back quick enough her she just he just always has a knack for what to do with the puck he's going to get it back and watch right here he's going to move it down right down there for the little tip that's a set play guys that's not luck right there in front of the net Going to be Chucko again, and then right there, Ehrman, I mean, just doesn't waste any. Dialed up with Talixson. Talixson. Geyer makes the pass through. Curry looks up. Minnesota celebrating. The goal light is not on. I have not seen the referee grab a least indicate a goal. Three Minnesota players had their arms up thinking they had scored. Curry swats it away. He's made the save. That's called Curry power as he's going to find the puck behind him. Good speed generated and puck support by Minnesota gets the puck into the offensive zone. And then it's going to be the puck moving down low, right, right there. Quick, you know, these guys just don't hold on to the puck whatsoever. Puck's going to bounce up and right on oh. the line. Oh my, we might need to take a look at this. This is a great angle right here. Chuckle's going to have the puck go up off his shin guard. Curry can't find it and he covers. I got news for you. I think that's in the net. I think that.
on the wrong side a few times tonight. Minnesota on the strong side, correct position. Zankanero carries in deep. He'll take the Tolney to the board. Will Liberty try to find Vander Kulik. Chance here for BU as Ehrman couldn't clear. Will Liberty gets it back. Shot through a crowd. Save. Rebound. Save. And Ehrman covers up. Oh, good, Peter MacArthur is from that mid-high slot area. So look for him to move up here with just 24 seconds remaining on the first Minnesota penalty to get a quick shot off. See Zankanaro moving his teammates around, and oh. MacArthur had come over, and the draw was one back to where MacArthur the was. Chance you take, though. You, you hope to set something up. Here's Van der Gulick. And the near board battling, trying to take it away, trying to get something set up. Ten to go in the five on three. Van der Gulick walks in. To the Liberty. Shot save. Rebound. Score! Doors open wide now. Brad Zancanaro gets the goal. It's 2-1, Gophers. The junior from Trenton, Michigan, comes through. He's on fire through December and now into January. Cross ice pass. Zancanaro doesn't give up on it as he gets the pass across the crease from the Liberty. The pass is going to be stopped. Or the shot's going to be stopped by the right pad, and then a quick hammer home by Zancanaro. The little guy makes a big meters on the ice. 35 seconds to go. Centering pass, no one home. Race for the puck. Sliding and hitting it into the boards. Minnesota kept it there with Harrington. Flipped up and down the ice, and the empty net is there for Irvin to take, and he missed oh it! My. He missed the empty net! 20 seconds to go. BU has another line. Patoli can't keep it at the point. Here's Vander Gulick for the Terriers. Winding, firing, save made by Briggs! Some instruction. Here's the draw. Again, not squared away yet. Everybody looking for an advantage on the faceoff. McConnell on the draw for BU, wins it. Sullivan sends it towards the net. MacArthur was charging there. Seven seconds to go. In front, bouncing around, turning, shooting it wide. The race for the puck, Weston. Can he turn and get off the final shot? No, and Minnesota hangs on to win the final game at Walter Brown Arena. One team of the country wins it 2-1. The BU Terriers have made their way around the ice to pay a final salute to the fans here at Walter Brown Arena as the Terriers have played their final game here in this building. After 34 years, they're moving over to Aganis Arena tomorrow night to take on Minnesota. And they're bringing out, if there's a great here who played at BU, and we heard from many of them here tonight, they're making their way out into the ice right now for a final photograph here at Walter Brown Arena. And a, a very emotional night. And I think it affected Boston University early on in this game. I don't think they had their legs. They're a better skating club than they showed in the first period. It took them until the third period to really get going. They put up a valiant effort to get back into it. But Minnesota, give them credit. They never backed down and defense very solid. The BU players waiting for the BU alums to make their way on the ice. And we see them coming out now. We heard from Michael Ruzioni earlier. We know Chris Jury's here and Tukahoon. I see Travis Roy has made his way onto the Jim ice Craig. for this final photo. Jim Craig. There is Michael Ruzioni. All the players who have been with BU. And, and One final team photo here at this place. And, and a huge, get that wide angle lens. Big <laughs> team photo for sure. A great night. I know they'll be you, the, the current players, looking forward to opening tomorrow night. And we will be there with you tomorrow night as the Golden Gophers and the Terriers take it down the street for the first game at Aganis Arena. Our final score, Minnesota 2, Boston University 1. For Billy Jaffe, Dave Starman, and our crew, I'm Eric Free. For more, log on to collegesports.com, the ultimate destination for scores, news, highlights, and analysis. This has been a presentation of CSTV, number one in college sports. Join us tomorrow at Aganis Arena as Minnesota and Boston University meet again. For the final time, we say good night from Walter Brown. Short-handed MacArthur, he scores! And you uh, never take for granted what you, what you have here. Thanks for the memories and thanks for all the great players that played here.